Right, three weeks into the school year now and hundreds of Metro students still don't have teachers. Right now, the district has more than 170 classrooms without a permanent instructor. High schools are the hardest hit, especially math and science classes. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall talked to one school board member about what she thinks needs to be done to fix this problem. It's new at 6. It's hard to believe, but more than 170 Metro classrooms still do not have permanent teachers. That means thousands of students, especially in our high schools, aren't getting the education they should. We don't have the, the teaching force that we once did. School Board Vice Chair Christian Bug says the school year is off to a strong start, but admits we have way too many teacher vacancies. The district has struggled in recent years to recruit and retain top teachers because of poor pay and low morale. What do we do? We go play back. In the spring, hundreds of teachers protested for higher wages and a fully funded school system. The board asked for a 10% raise, but the city gave them less than half that. We need to make sure that we are supporting teachers as best we can, that we remember that they are professionals, that they are the experts in the field, that they are doing literally God's work by being in front of children all day and pouring into them. The district won't say much about its plans to hire more teachers, but News Channel 5 obtained an email to all principals saying they have a multi-part plan. The district plans a hiring push next week, then will turn to non-instructional staff like deans, literacy coaches, and other specialists within the district to fill the classroom roles. The third phase would be reassigning staff from one school to another. It's a lot of ups and downs, and right now it's been a lot of like downs with the teacher shortage and all that stuff that's going on. Jacquez White has four children attending Metro schools and has seen the shortage firsthand. I have a daughter that attended Hillwood. And when they had a teacher shortage, she wasn't getting the help that she needed in certain classes that she needed. So it made her behavior kind of change. Bugs suggest recruiting college undergrads early. And making sure that students understand that they can both earn a bachelor's degree in whatever their content field is, but they can also go the teacher certification track. Bugs says this is not just an issue for Metro. The teacher shortage is a problem around the country. Teaching should be a six-figure job easily. Not only do we need to find a way to recruit more teachers, we also have to hang on to the ones we have. In Nashville, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5. A half dozen of Metro's high schools still have at least five teacher vacancies. As for the surrounding counties, Sumner has 33 vacancies, Williamson has 24, Wilson 12, and Rutherford County has 11.